Hey, how's it going? Uh, I got a good one for you today. Uh, I got an issue with my uh, Galaxy 33 HML. And it's one of the worst issues you could have. And why do I say that? It's because it's intermittent. Now what is the issue? Okay, when I turn it on, the uh, bulb in the meter flickers and you get a buzzing sound out of the speaker. Let me just show you, see if it's going to do it. There you go. Whoop. Heard it for a second. Now see, it's every once in a while it'll it'll do it at random. There it flickers. Now right away I'm thinking power supply line. There you go. She's a good one. It's all right. So. What do you think it is? So I'm looking at the schematic and I found a few issues in the schematic. Somebody drew the schematic wrong because it doesn't make sense. But that bulb is connected to the main power supply from the switch, which is, you know, normal. But uh, I'll take you over to the, to the schematic and I'll show you what I found. Now, a bit of a disclosure. I already troubleshooted this, and I, I didn't believe it when I found it. I don't think you will either. Now, I bought this radio about 10 years ago. Did a total electrolytic recap, and replaced a couple diodes, and uh, I think I replaced the finals, the driver and the finals. I can't remember. Now, the bulb in the meter... I replaced that with a LED. Hint, hint, hint. Now you know an LED is actually a diode. Hmm. I'll, I'll uh, show you what's going on when I found it out. Let's do this again. Isn't that weird? What the heck could be causing that? Got a capacitor? Transistor breakdown on the voltage regulator? I don't know. So, if you want to follow along, I'll show you what I found out. Let me reposition the camera, take you over to the schematic, and I'll show you what I, what's going on there. All right? Be right back. Easy there, big fella. Easy. Easy, bad boy. All right, be right back. All right. Here's the schematic. Light bulb. Incandescent. I replaced that with an LED. Remember what I said? LED is actually a diode. Well, anyway, the negative side right here comes follow this line to do, do, do ground. So that's the negative side. All right, now we come to the plus side. Now this is where I'm having a bit of a problem trying to decipher this. See this line right here? So, this is at the back of the radio. You plug in your cord. Plus comes up here. And now this is showing doo -doo 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 -doo, right to the plus side of the bulb. That don't make sense. As soon as I plug in that power cord, that light's going to come on. No. Somebody messed up here. I don't think this line is supposed to be here. And this one is not supposed to be here. I don't know. And then, you got another line coming from here, which is positive, going right into the speaker. Now you know the speaker, one side is ground. You put 13 volts, 14 volts into that speaker, it's go bzzz, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that, this, this whole area here doesn't make sense to me. Maybe you can explain it. Put a comment down there and below. But anyway, you can see that this is plus side right here. As soon as you flip that on, you're going to have positive come up here through the f choke into the switch. And then that should go out to the meter. This shouldn't be here, and that shouldn't be there. And then we're going to go up here. To, now this is what I first thought it was right here. 
this big honker here, this 6080 watt 2SB uh, 754. That is the modulator that goes out to the the final. First I thought it was the final was breaking down. So no, that wasn't it. I thought it was these capacitors, one of the these two here. No, that wasn't it. So let me show you what I found. Let me get back to the radio and I'll disconnect the bulb here on the plus side disconnected from the switch on the plus side. We'll see if it does it again. That'll, that's your main clue. Alright, be right back. Alright, here we are. Let me, is this it? Oh, I gotta plug it. <laughs> you big dummy. I gotta get the soldering iron hooked up here. Hang on. Alright, before I turn this on, or uh, show you what's going on, what I did to find this problem. First I thought it was the audio amp. Let me... Sh Look at those blips. Wee doggy. Look at that. That thing is going nuts. Mm -hmm. All right, enough of that. All right, I was going nuts trying to figure this thing out. Probing everywhere, the finals, the uh, voltage regulator, the uh, modulator, the big honker, 6080 water. I thought something hooked to the power bus has got to be breaking down. I was wrecking my brain. I said, you know what? Let's check that bulb. How can it be? An LED? I never ran across that before. It is a diode. Is it breaking down? Alright, let me flip this over. Pretty nice looking radio, isn't it, for the early 2000s? Alright, let me flip this over. That iron should be heated up by now. Yep. Let me disconnect the lead to that LED in the meter. Okay. Turn the lights on here so we can see what's going on. Alright. Flip her back over. Let's turn this on and see. Now, the uh, bulb is not going to light up, but you should hear that sound. Nothing. Go figure. Is that LED in that meter screwed up? Apparently. I also thought it could be one of these switches. This one here, or maybe this one, especially one of these two. Here's a carried away there. FM, PA, FM, AM. So anyway, I believe that's it. That that bulb, that LED. Really? Well, let's put a new one in. I just happen to have a spare here. I kind of like the LED because it's a little brighter for the for the uh, meter. Now the only way to get at that bulb. I gotta pull the front off. I don't know if you can let me unplug this. Not much room there to get at that bulb, pull it out and do a good job. And try to reinsert it. I think yep, yeah, I glued it up. I may not be able to salvage it. But uh, you know, it's just a bunch of wires in there and be easier to pull that face plate. plate.
So anyway, that's what I'll do. Let me get the knobs off and pull the plate.
All right, everything's back together. The LED that I replaced is a used one. Hopefully it works. I didn't check it out before. But would you think that this would cause that problem that I had? Possibly it's breaking down. It's a diode. Well, cross my fingers. We'll see what happens here. Everything's hooked up in the back. Let's see if we can receive now. <laughs> Is everything RF gain? We had a bunch of skip before. Help if you hook up the antenna, you big dummy. <laughs> oh, watch that needle go crazy now. Got movement. Well, so far so good. Let's do another test here. Well, we're not getting much skip. We're getting something. Well, I'd say it's fixed. Okay, it's 120, 135. I'll shut the camera off. I'll let this on for a while and see what happens. I'll be back if I... Uh, If I uh, see any interference, that flickering again. All right. Everything's back together. I think we got it. Let's try this out, see if we get anything. All right. I'm about to say, you know, would you like to come on the inside and drink a cold coconut water? No doubt about it. Take it clean. Me and my funky station clean. I'm out the way. All right, I don't see nothing yet. Except for that clicking, you know, there's something else I'd like to work on. It seems when I go to turn this on, I'm looking at the meter over here. There, I'll show you. You see that? Now I'm going to turn the radio on. See that? Get a little blip of transmit there. Why is that? That's why you hear that pop. Hmm. It's got something to do with the... Uh, Transmit, receive. Of course it does, but what's causing it? Don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we got the uh, blinking and the uh, buzzing down. You can even see that 
little bit of transmit on the meter too. See if we get the all these uh, galaxies do that. Most of the old ones, at least the ones that I have, that pop. <coughs> Maybe some of you experts can uh, let me know what causes that. It's not the microphone, I know that. So I think we got it. And it is. What is it? Can you read it? 25 minutes. I think we got it. It's no more buzzing, no more flickering. All right, let me button this up. Now I'll do the final episode here. I'll be back. All right, it's back together. There you have it. I don't see any flickering. Don't hear any buzzing. Tell me something though. Why would that go into transmit just for a split second and you turn it on? It's gotta be the switching. Uh, transistors from receive to transmit. It's got to be those switching transistors or a transistor. Somebody let me know in the comments section, okay? But anyway, I think we got it. We're done here. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll let you listen. Let you listen to this a little bit, and then I'm out of here. I'm back quiet. You're back I'm quiet. Then. That's it. Just a bunch of skip. See you on the next one.